With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is heat energy absorbed by a system in going through a cyclic process shown in the figure is. So in this question we have to find out the heat energy that is absorbed by a system in this cyclic process given by this figure. So the heat energy that can be calculated as that is delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. This is from the thermodynamics we know that the total heat energy that is equal to change in the internal energy plus work done for a system or inversely we can write delta U is equals to delta W minus delta Q. But for a cyclic process, for a cyclic process delta U is always that is change in internal energy is 0. It means for this case delta Q is equal to delta W. It means if we find the work done that will be equal to the heat energy absorbed by the system. So work done will be the area under the curve delta W that is work done will be equals to area under the curve now this area will be this the, the circle is given so its area will be pi r square so we will write delta W is equals to area under the curve that is equals to pi r square now we are given this so this will be the diameter its diameter will be 30 minus 10 so this will be equals to 20 it means radius will be diameter by 2 that is equal to radius so it will be 20 by 2 that is 10 so it means it will be pi into 10 square that is 100 pi but the units are kilo pascal and liter so this is the work done but the units are given as joules now 1 pascal is equal to 1 pascal is equal to 10 is to power minus 3 meter cube sorry 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton per meter square and 1 liter is equal to 10 is to power minus 3 meter cube so we if we put these values and kilo pascal will be 10 is to power so delta w will become 100 pi for kilo we will multiply this by 10 is to power 3 and for pascal we will write it as newton per meter square and for liter we will write it as 10 is to power minus 3 meter cube now this will give us this 10 is to power 3 is cancelled by minus 3 and this will give us newton meter this will be 100 pi newton meter and 1 newton meter is equal to joule so it will be the work done will be 100 pi joule and for cyclic process the delta w will be equals to delta q so delta q will be equals to delta w that is 100 pi joule it means heat energy absorbed by system is 100 pi joule so correct answer to this question is c option 10 raised to power 2 pi joule that is 100 pi joules i hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today